Hi everyone, this is Kenpo Joe, uh, Joe Rebello, again known to many of you on the internet in the martial arts world. What we're going to do today is uh, someone was talking on one of the uh, Facebook Kenpo message boards about what is the opposite of buckling branch. A lot of interesting aspects regarding that particular technique and also how Kenpo approaches defenses against kicks. So let's take that base technique and then let's look what's in it and look at what's the opposite on different categories. Shall we? Let's. All right, come on over. Now this is my assistant, Aaron Jocks, and Aaron's gonna be helping me out on this particular technique. Again, the technique is buckling branch. Now for those of you who do the 24 technique base curriculum, it's technique number 10, and it's listed against a front left step through kick. So, when we look at this, first of all, I'm going to back in range here, back a little bit Now, we look at attacks. The inside, the outside, above and below. Again, against the right hand, against the left hand. Against the right leg, against the left leg. Against both hands attacking simultaneously, both hands alternating, both legs alternating as well later on in the advanced material. So let's see what's going on here, shall we? So Aaron is gonna step back with his left foot in a right neutral bow, basic right fighting stance. He's going to execute a left step through front kick. Okay, that's the base action. Now you may say to me, well Mr. Rebelli, he didn't snap his leg back. We're just working on the person who might have some knowledge of throwing a kick. And even sometimes the best of us, we get lazy. We bring up that leg, we throw the leg out, gravity kicks in, we drop our leg down, we don't retract it back properly, we don't snap it back. That's what we're looking at. Someone's trying to kick our groin into the next zip code and how to defend against it. So, Aaron comes in once again with a front kick, with the foot go, move, move. I block and turn his body on a 45 degree angle, exposing his back. I execute from here. I bring my hand up in a relaxed hand sword as I execute a right step through front snap kick to the opponent's groin, kicking him up between the legs into the testicles. I drop into a twist stance, right side blade kick, and buckling his branch, preferably knocking him to the ground at that point. And we're going to do that again. We're going to buckle you all the way through. So again, step back, hands up. So he throws the kick, move, boom, block, front kick, step. Side kick, boom, crossing cover out. We are indeed buckling the branch. Now, here's where the fun begins. The opposite of outside is inside. The opposite of right is left. The opposite of front is rear. So, where are we going with this? Well, the opposite of a left leg is a right arm. Hmm, what right arm technique do we have that utilizes a left front kick followed by a right side kick? Hey, that would be checking the storm. Let's look, shall we? So now my opponent steps in with a right overhead attack. Now again, he's doing a circular motion as opposed to a linear motion. He's coming in with his right arm as opposed to his left leg. Move. So I step, and boom. I do my double factor. I grab here at the wrist if I can. Again, there's a lot of things going on in that. I take my front leg as opposed to my rear leg, and I execute left front ball kick to the inside of the opponent as opposed to the outside. Drop to my twist stance, execute a right step through knife edge kick to the inside of his knee as opposed to the back of his knee kicking here and then executing an outward back knuckle. Now again, we're just walking through these techniques to take a look at what we can do. So, now let's look and say, all right, if I'm going to reverse the order now, instead of doing a front kick into a side kick, I'm going to do a side kick into a front kick. Instead of using a single arm, I'll use two arms. What's the opposite of blocking to the out the inside, the outside rather, of a left, like in buckling branch? Well, hmm, that could be the outside of a left punch, like in the technique aggressive twins. 
So now he executes a right step through two hand push. So now move. The opposite of one is two. The opposite of leg to arms. I block to the outside of his left arm, executing a left, a right knife edge kick to his front knee, then execute a left step through front thrust kick to drive him away to the groin. The opposite of snapping is thrusting. Here, I utilize my lead leg to execute the side kick with my right side as opposed to buckling branch where I use the left side kick at the end of the technique as opposed to the beginning to the back of the knee as opposed to the front of the knee. See where we're going with this? So we have to look at which categories are being addressed. Is front, side, or rear, which is the first category. Is it an arm? Is it a leg? Is it two arms? Is it one arm alternating after another? Is it one leg alternating after another? Is the attack linear or circular? And according to the web of knowledge, is it a grab, push, punch, kick, hold or hug, lock or choke, weapon, multiple attacks and multiple attackers? By the way, some people put grabs and tackles in that first category. These are the things we have to look at. But remember, there is no such thing as category completion. Really? Ed Parker, for every move, theory, concept, principle, or definition, there's an opposite and a reverse. Think about that. My student today was talking about grafting. Here's an idea to go home and play with. Start off with thrusting salute and then finish with triggered salute. Have some fun with that one. I think it's a great idea. And again, think about what it's teaching you and how it's teaching you. I think it's awesome. Welcome to grafting. Now, one last thing we want to do before we close is just a, a toy to play with. Again, by the way, again, Kempo Law, when defending yourself against a kick, you either step straight back and block to an angle or step to an angle and block straight across. Try your Kempo defenses against kicks and see where that holds true. Now, one last important thing. Aaron, come on up here. Recently, Aaron and I did an instructional video on shielding hammer. And several people contacted me and contacted these Facebook pages and, and, and YouTube and said, it's terrible what you're doing to your poor student. How could you treat him like that? You treat him like a bad child. You're a horrible instructor. How could you do that? First of all, we were both in on the joke, right? And I asked him specifically before the demonstration, I said, hey, look, I want you to throw the attack the way you were originally taught by your other instructors. Not the way I'm going to show you because I hadn't taught him that technique yet as far as the attack is elaborating upon Kempo, as it were. Um, and because of that, we had some fun with it and took him several times to get it, and that's, that's the jury learning. And that's how we addressed it. But obviously, some people got very upset. I want to thank you. I want to thank each and every one of you, every Kempo brother and sister who stood up for Aaron. I want to thank each and every one of you who had caring and concern regarding how he was approached in that video because you cared. Because you looked at it and said, oh, you know, Mr. Bell, you're treating him like blah, blah, blah. And, you know, that's not right. And thankfully, that in my heart of hearts, that's not the case. Aaron is a wonderful student. We love working together. He studies a multitude of martial arts, and we have a lot of fun. Uh, I, I've asked him specifically. I said, did, did you feel that way? Because I felt bad if, if it was that way. And I felt bad for every person approached it. And you're okay? Yes. I'm okay. We're okay. And again, you know, I just want to talk about that, but I want to thank you, every person that wrote a dissertation. Every, I had one guy sit there and say, I can't even watch the rest of the video. I was like, wow, really? You need to get out more. Just kidding. Uh, I, I understood what he, how he felt, that he was that upset. But honestly, from our heart, our heart of hearts, it wasn't meant that way. It wasn't meant to be rude. It wasn't me to be condescending toward him. It wasn't meant in that spirit. We're busy having fun, and we're sharing that fun with you. And you know what? Worst comes to worst, I could keep this all to myself and not share any of this stuff and let you guys live in the dark. But I don't feel that way. I never have. I never will. So have fun with this. Enjoy it. And know that we do. We have fun. This is Joe Rebello, known to many of you in the internet and martial arts world as Kempo Joe. Till next time. Keep training.